Welcome to Electron Line. Our next example is a boat speeding up in a river. Let's say the initial speed of the boat is 20 meters per second and over a distance of 200 meters speeds up to 30 meters per second. The question is how long did it take and what was the acceleration of the boat? Again, we're going to do this in a graphical method. We're going to graph it using velocity versus time graph. So when we draw, draw a velocity versus time graph, it'll look like this. There's velocity, there's time starting at 20 meters per second and then speeding up at a constant acceleration all the way up to 30 meters per second and over a certain amount of time we don't know what the time is we'll call it t and so now we realize that the area underneath this curve represents distance therefore this area represents the 200 meters and then the uh, time is what we're looking for the slope of this graph will represent acceleration so once we know the time we'll be able to calculate the acceleration from finding the slope to find the area here we're going to divide this into two areas the triangle area and the rectangle area, let's call this A1 and let's call this A2 and we know that the total area A1 plus A2 must add up to the 200 meters so we can say that A1 plus A2 equals to 200 meters I'm going to come up down here to give myself a little bit more space so what we're going to do here is calculate the total area so A1 plus A2 is equal to, well, the area of the uh, A1 would be one half the base times the height of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle which is the height times the width. Okay, so that's the general equations for the area of a triangle, the area of a rectangle. The total area here would be 200 meters, so 200 meters is equal to one half times the base, that would be the time that it took, times the height and the height would be from 20 to 30, so it's a difference of 10 meters per second. Plus the height of the rectangle, which is 20, times the width of the rectangle, which again would be the time that it took, t. And so now realize we have an equation with only time, and we can so easily solve that. So we have 200 equals 5t plus 20t. Reversing the equation, 25t is equal to 200. Divide both sides by 25, and we can then say that t is equal to 8 seconds. So now we know that this is a total of 8 seconds. So during a period of 8 seconds, the boat accelerated from 20 meters per second to 30 meters per second. So there's our first answer. Second answer, we try to find the acceleration. And we know that acceleration is equal to the slope of a velocity versus time graph, which is equal to the rise over the run and the rise in this case would be from 20 to 30 so that's a rise of 10 meters per second divided by the run which would be a period of 8 seconds and 10 divided by 8 is equal to 1.25 meters per second squared which would be the acceleration of the boat during that 200 meter uh, distance in which the boat accelerated from 20 to 30 meters per second and so using graphical techniques can sometimes be really handy in solving problems like this.